Hi everybody, Juliana here. I hope everyone is having an amazing holiday so far. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make your very own gingerbread house from scratch. I will be showing you how to make the most delicious gingerbread dough, light frosty icing, how to build it, decorate it, and even how to make these incredible candy stained glass windows. On the outside, we will be making marshmallow and Nutella Christmas trees, mint brigadeiro snowman, and this beautiful frozen pond out front. This recipe is awesome because you can build your own house any way you want and add whatever chocolate and any candy you can think of. On that note, let's bake! Sift together 4 cups of flour, 1 cup of whole wheat flour, 4 teaspoons of ginger, 2 teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of cloves, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoon of salt. Into a medium pot over low to medium heat, melt 200 grams of butter, 2 cups of brown sugar, 3 cut a cup of honey, 2 and a half teaspoons of molasses, 1 teaspoon of vanilla. Stir just until all melted and combined. Do not let it get too hot. Add your dry ingredients in three additions, alternating with 8 tablespoons of milk. Stir until well combined. So, for my gingerbread house dough, I want to make sure the gingerbread actually tastes delicious, so I turned my grown cracker cookie recipe into a gingerbread dough. Place the dough on a floured surface and roll the dough, then divide it in three pieces. Roll the pieces into squares and put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes or until firm. Roll your pieces into sizes according with the size that you want to make your house. You can make molds using Bristol board or just a ruler. I'm just using a ruler and I will give you my measurements so you can decide. I cut the front and back pieces together, so it's easy to cut the side walls and roof. For cutting the windows and doors, I have some molds and cookie cutters, but if you don't have any, you can just use your knife. I also made a chimney. I made the roof a little bigger than the sides to give it a nice design. You can create whatever you want with the extra dough. I made a bench, a path, some pieces for a deck and a lake. Bake all your pieces with the windows and doors on, 10 to 12 minutes. They will look nicer and remove easier after being baked. You might need to press a bit hard with your mold or knife to cut your shape. For the stained glass and frozen pond effect, I melted some hard Jolly Rancher candies into the cooled pieces and baked for 5 minutes.
You can use a toothpick to spread your candy. Let them cool until hard again. When colored, they give this incredible stained glass effect and you can play with lighting and different designs to bring them to life. To even out your pieces, you can use a zester or a grater to shave off any uneven parts. For the icing, mix 2 pounds of icing sugar with 10 teaspoons of marini powder and 10 tablespoons of warm water. Follow the instructions for your meringue powder or use pasteurized egg whites. For using whites, I'll add the recipe below. Beat over low speed until it forms peaks. The texture is like a glue. This will give you enough icing to put the house together, but if you are planning to decorate with icing a lot, you might want to make more icing. Make sure you get all your piping bags ready for this. So it's time for building. Get all your pieces in a square cake board. First, you want to start by adding icing directly on the base of your cake board. The icing will act as a glue to hold your pieces up. Start by connecting your front pieces with one of your sides. Add ice in between where both sides meet and hold them together. Add more icing if you need to add and feel free to use a spatula to clean or add. Continue this pattern until you have all four pieces together. Make sure to take your time during this part and always add more icing if you need to. As you work, the icing will start to firm up and make your house stronger. You might need some help to hold it in the beginning. Now it's time to attach the roof. For this, find a thin piece of cardboard or bristol board, a cereal box will work well, and fold it in in half and cut it to be a little smaller than your two roof pieces. Place some icing on both sides of the cardboard. Attach your roof pieces and let them firm up so they are strong. Meanwhile, you can start to add the doors, the path, and make your extra pieces. Add a good amount of icing all along the top four walls of your gingerbread house. When ready, place your roof and hold firmly. As always, clean or add any more icing you need to. Hold your cookie pieces until it feels nice and firm. As you are in your icing, you can also cover your cake board in frosting to make it look like snow. Don't worry about covering everything now. We can add more when everything else is all done. You need to play with different kinds of tips as you go. Using the royal icing, you will play around with, sometimes adding more water to have different texture effects. Always add about 1 teaspoon to check. If it's too loose, add more marine powder and beat again. Once your house is built and strong, it's time to decorate! Add the candies and chocolate where you want and keep playing.
For my snowman, I made some mint brigadeiros by using the same technique for chocolate brigadeiros. Stir one can of condensed milk and a half a cup of cream and one tablespoon of mint extract. Cook like brigadeiros. Make balls looking like snowmen and cover them with coconut or icing sugar for a snow effect. For more info on how to make the perfect brigadeiro, check out the link to my video in the description below. Use some pretzel sticks to hold the balls together. Use warm candy for the scarves. and tempered chocolate for their face. If you want to give them a hat, use Reese's mini peanut butter cups. For my Christmas trees and pine trees, I filled empty ice cream cones with marshmallows, graham crackers and Nutella, and I also sealed them with graham cracker cookies. This gives them an incredible s'mores flavor and are a fun surprise when eating. To decorate them, I pint them with green candy melts and add M&Ms to make this one like a Christmas tree. Add your lights from the back of your house before starting everything. I'm using some Brazilian brigadeiros for my roof. These delicious chocolate balls are incredible and give a Brazilian twist to my gingerbread house. Leave one part of the brigadeiro without chocolate sprinkles, so the brigadeiros will stick on the roof. You need to play with different kinds of tips as you go. Use some icing sugar for finishing with the snow effect.
There is nothing better than the smell of freshly baked gingerbread and the love and memories that go along with building one together. Once it's built, your family can spend the holidays breaking it apart until it's all eaten. So everyone, that was my homemade gingerbread house video to help make your holidays a special one. Hope you liked this video. I will see you next time. Ciao!